Malik, our other top story here tonight, one of our area's largest hospitals, Johns Hopkins All Children's, found liable of medical malpractice in the Take Care of Maya trial. Maya and her family broke down in court today as the jury read its verdict awarding millions of dollars in damages to the Venice area family. The Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, through the acts of its employees, engaged in extreme and outrageous conduct, intending that conduct to cause or with reckless disregard of the high probability of causing severe emotional distress to Beata Kowalski that was sufficient to be a legal cause of Beata Kowalski's death by suicide. Yes. From opening statements to jury verdict, 10 Tampa Bay's Adurea Chumba has been covering this case from the very beginning, and she is live for us right now with tonight's update. Good evening, Adurea. Good evening. Today, jurors agreeing with the Kowalski family that staff conduct was extreme and outrageous when dad Jack Kowalski took Maya to the ER in October 2016, only to have her taken into state custody and sheltered there, kept away from her family for 87 days. We, the jury, return the following verdict. Claim one, false imprisonment, October 7th through October 13th, 2016, Maya Kowalski. A courtroom overrun by emotions as the six person jury agreed with the family on all seven claims. The Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital falsely imprisoned Maya Kowalski without legal authority under circumstances that were unreasonable and unwarranted between October 18th and October 20th, 2016. Yes. <laughs> They also found All Children's Hospital liable for malpractice, battery, the wrongful death of Maya's mother, Beata, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. In total, the jury awarding the family around $212 million in compensation, including for future economic loss, long-term trauma, and medical care. Based on Catherine Beattie's hugging, patting, kissing, and placing Maya Kowalski on her lap, $8 million. Lawyers for All Children's Hospitals say this case will have a chilling effect on mandatory reporters of child abuse. They disagree with the verdict and plan to pursue an appeal claiming clear and prejudicial errors throughout the trial and deliberate conduct by the plaintiff's counsel that misled the jury. Juror number one, is this your verdict? Yes, it is. And we have the full statement from All Children's Hospital on our website, tantampabay.com. But the Kowalski family could also be getting more money. Right now, the judge is still discussing punitive damages, and we'll have details about that coming up tonight at 6. For now, live in Venice, Aduria Chumba, Tan Tampa Bay.